What's up you guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are um, reviewing the Disney Store exclusives of Carnage. There's also a Venom which we will be um, reviewing in the next video. Um, this, these figures came out a little while ago. Um, I think uh, during the pandemic it was supposed to come out during the um, release of uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage. Uh, but obviously they came out sooner because the movie was pushed back and the trailer looks awesome. That's what made me um, get a bunch of Venom stuff. So this is probably going to be like <laughs> the week of Venom. There's a lot of Venom reviews I have done. And uh, this is the one I'm most excited for is the Carnage one. So there is the packaging. It's a great image of Carnage. He looks awesome. Uh, all these different looks you can do of Carnage just looks phenomenal. And I'm very, very excited to get to this review. So let's open this bad boy up. So here we have Venom out of the packaging and he comes with a crazy amount of accessories. My favorite being this backpack. That's just so, this is just so cool. I think it makes him look so menacing, um, but this guy comes with a lot of stuff. So <clears throat> first and foremost, he comes with a, one of the, he comes with three different head options. So, well, actually four if you're including this guy. So this one's the more like, this one reminds me of like Evil Dead, John Carpenter's The Thing, you know. That's what I like about a, a lot of these Venom uh, figures. They're, they remind me a lot of The Thing, uh, the symbiote. <clears throat> so here's like a symbiote head. Here's another version of Carnage, another really cool head sculpt. This one is my favorite head sculpt. This is the one that's probably gonna end up being displayed, but we'll, we'll put all the head sculpts on during this review and see what happens. Then it comes with a ton of tendrils that you can put all over his body. So you got this one, you got this guy, okay? This guy, so many. This one goes around his neck, so there's that. You got a bigger one, you got this, and you got two blades, so you can have options. I personally really dig the claws, but we'll put these on and see how they look. But the figure itself, this might be one of the coolest figures I've ever seen, uh, especially Marvel, like out of the Marvel Select figures. I just think this is so cool. And the backpack doesn't fit on like super tight, but like if you just, you know, if you just it, it, it does hang on, but like you're gonna go like this. Actually, wow, it does stay. All right, never mind. I was gonna say it's gonna fall off, but it doesn't. This head sculpt, I think it's very menacing looking. It's very cool. But I just think this figure in general looks menacing. He looks evil, you know? He looks like he's gonna come raise some carnage, right? You know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so I guess let's do um, some hand swaps. So we have Venom with the blades. The blades are cool. I still, I personally really like the claws. I think the claws look really cool personally. Like, you know, these, these. I think they just look a lot cooler. They kind of remind me of like Freddy Krueger. Um, but the claws do look really cool. Uh, I'm definitely not opposed to the claws, but I think I'm personally gonna go with the hands. Um, but gives you some options. Like he, wow, he just, look, he, dude, he looks like a serial killer. Like this is a straight up horror movie like character. This, he looks so phenomenal. I'm so impressed by how this figure looks. Um, let's try the other head sculpts real quick. Um, and see how he looks with that. So here we have the other head sculpt. Um, I think this is, I think I heard some people say this is like the ultimate Carnage look. Um, this is probably my least favorite out of the uh, four head sculpts we have the options of doing. Um, this isn't the one that gets me the most excited, um, but it is cool nonetheless. Let's go with the, um, the symbiote head. Here we have the, uh, I'm calling it the symbiote head and I even put the little, uh, the um, tendrils that go up the neck and we obviously put the backpack on. Uh, this one's pretty pretty crazy looking. I like it though. Let me raise the camera a little bit so you guys better look. It's cool though. That's a cool looking uh, head sculpt. That's a really cool option. Um, but I'm gonna put on the one that I think is gonna be the coolest. Yeah, this is my favorite head sculpt. So we have the tendrils going up, so it kind of goes in the same vein as like, you know, the, the uh, symbiote is taking over uh, Cletus Cassidy. I just think this figure just looks so, so evil. Like he just looks like, I don't know, he, I wouldn't want to fight him. I'll be honest with you. I, I really wouldn't want to fight him. And I, I just trailer from the Let There Be Carnage. He looks, he looks great. He's going to be played by Woody Harrelson, which I think is such cool casting. I think he's going to do such a phenomenal job um, with this character. And I'm really excited to see Venom on the big screen finally. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how Venom um, is able to compete against someone as vicious 
uh, as Carnage, especially because uh, Cletus Cassie and his symbiote uh, have a better relationship than Eddie Brock and, and his city and in Venom. Um, so Carnage and Cletus obviously get along a lot more. Um, but I just think this is such a cool figure. Um, let's see if we can go over a bit of articulation. Um, there's a lot. This figure comes with a lot. I've got to say, man, this this is probably the figure that I would highly recommend if you guys can track down. I found it for a pretty reasonable price, uh, almost retail price. So his head goes up, down. Um, his claws in the back actually move, even up here moves. Um, these are all on ball joints, you know, so there's articulation even with the accessories. Um, his arm will go up. It will go down, it will go up, it will go back. He got a bicep cut. He's got a single jointed elbow, turns, and even hinges. So he's got articulation. Um, he's got an ab crunch. Um, he got hip joints. Leg goes out, it goes in, up, back, double jointed knees. He even got a thigh cut. Articulate, uh, it goes down, it goes up, and he even has um, ankle pivot. There we go. So all in all, I think this, you know, this is a really well articulated figure. Now, how does Carnage stack up to other Marvel figures? Let's find out. Here we have Carnage next to the movie Venom. Um, I want to say, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say Carnage is smaller than uh, Venom. Uh, like, I know he's definitely skinnier. So these are a bit out of scale, but all in all, I think they look really, really good. I wouldn't mind seeing these guys tussle, you know, they're cool. Put up a really good fight, I imagine. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you um, how he looks with the movie Venom because, you know, I'm sure that's what everybody wants to see is how these guys look. And I don't know if we're going to get a movie Carnage figure, but I will say this is probably the closest we're going to get um, that I know of, you know, because, I mean, they could be holding it off, honestly. I don't, I don't know. But um, I really love this figure. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep a lookout for more videos on the channel. Especially because this week's going to be kind of like Venom Week. So I uh, hope you guys really like it.